And now I'd like to introduce another Gun Sense champion, my senator from the state of California, Woo. Senator Alex Padilla. Thank you, Shannon. Thank you, everybody who's here. Thank you for your passion. Thank you for your advocacy. Thank you for your activism. We will win. I'm Senator Alex Padilla from California, and I am here to do my job. We're going to vote on these measures, and we're not going to give up until we bring common sense gun safety legislation. Look, I uh, know our hearts go out to the people of Laguna Woods in Southern California, the people in Buffalo, New York, more recently, and of course, to the parents, the classmates, the co-workers of the 19 students and two teachers who perished in Uvalde, Texas this week. Yes, we offer our condolences. Yes, we offer our thoughts and prayers. But thoughts and prayers alone is not enough to prevent future tragedies from happening. I'm here, and I want to be clear about this. I want to be clear about this because uh, it's right about uh, time for my kids to start school in California with the time change. I'm here as a U.S. Senator, I'm also here as a father, like Senator Murphy, to young children, school-age children. My two youngest are the same age they could have been in that classroom in Ovalde, Texas. So yes, this is personal. The question here this morning is to our Senate Republican colleagues. How is this acceptable? How are you not outraged? We're outraged. And no, putting more armed adults in schools is not the answer. If more guns was the answer, the United States of America would be the safest nation in the world. But it's not. It's the only country where students go to school fearing for their safety. It's the only country where people wonder about their safety going to a house of worship. It's the only country in the world where people wonder whether it's safe to go to the grocery store or the shopping mall. More guns is not the answer. We know the answers. You've heard it. Assault weapons ban, advanced background checks, get rid of large capacity magazines, red flag laws, and more. We need to bring this legislation to a vote and hold every member of the Senate accountable because I refuse to sit idly by and watch our children die to gun violence in schools and in our communities. And briefly, you're about to find out what it means to be a senator from California because I get to deliver some remarks in Espanol as well. <laughs> Lo que sucedió en Texas esta semana es una tragedia y fue una pérdida insuperable para nuestra comunidad latina. No solo como senador, pero hablo como padre de tres hijos. Tres niños, dos de la edad de los que murieron, los que perdieron su vida esta semana en Texas. No me puedo imaginar el dolor de los padres que nunca verán a sus hijos o sus hijas en sus ojos otra vez. Estoy harto de saber que niños van a la escuela en este país preocupados por su seguridad. Estoy harto de comunidades que... No se sienten seguros de ir de compras, ir a las tiendas, o ir a la iglesia con temor de violencia. Ya basta. Y es tiempo que el Congreso tome la acción necesaria para mejor proteger a nuestras comunidades, nuestras familias y a nuestro país. Sabemos las soluciones. Lo que hace falta es valor de parte de nuestros colegas republicanos de tomar acción, votar en favor no de sus intereses políticos de, de, de las armas, pero en, lo, en el interés 
de los residentes, de las familias del de pueblo americano. Nuestras familias, nuestros hijos merecen mejor y va a haber a contabilidad este año. Muchísimas gracias. Thank you very, very much. <laughs>